on this Friday. A new co-working space in South Haven is set to open next week. Think Bar is right off of Phoenix Street between Broadway and Pearl. Owners say it's the first co-working space of its kind in the city, offering plenty of office space, conference rooms, and workstations where entrepreneurs and those working remotely can actually come together in a professional setting. Think Bar opens Tuesday, September 8th, and they are currently offering memberships and other promotional offers. Of course, South Haven, a beautiful city, too. Pretty soon, you'll see new lighting, new benches, new tables, and bike racks, all at Roberto Clemente Park in Grand Rapids. The $1.5 million upgrade also includes new trails and a new stormwater system that's safer for the Grand River. All this work was paid for by grants from the DNR Trust Fund, the city's park millage that we paid for with our tax dollars, and the Environmental Services Department. They have not said when the work will be completed yet. Spruce up your yard with plants that are native to Michigan. The Kent Conservation District has a plant sale next month with those very greens. It's happening October 17th at their location off Eagle Park Drive in Grand Rapids. So if you're wondering which ones you should get or how to plant them on your property, the district is hosting a free Zoom workshop on September 17th. The district tells us that native plant gardens can be good for your yard and local wildlife, adding that fall is a great time for putting seeds in the ground. You can find more information by heading to Kent conservation.org and regardless of how you feel about candy corn yes what you're looking at is actually candy corn you're either gonna love this or hate it okay you'll be able to get your hands this year on blackberry cobbler flavored candy corn Oh, I'm intrigued mm -hmm. instead of the usual yellow orange and white as you can see they come in white purple and black so they still match the candy corn aesthetic are you a candy corn fan yeah I can't. Take it, take it or leave it. I can gobble. I'm not a big fan of the pumpkin ones. Like, that's a yeah, little bit too, too much. Too, too much for you? Yeah. Just the little ones. The candy corn and as I a kid, we, we would always break off the little white parts yeah. and pretend it was your tooth. I know. Did every kid so do that? Weird, yeah. Like, oh, my yes, tooth. So weird. Uh, talk about fast food. Burger King is making plans to adapt to the coronavirus age. They're building triple drive throughs, burger pickup lockers and take out counters. A burger locker? Yes. The chain revealed their two new restaurant designs on Thursday. Plans to build prototypes in Miami, Latin America, and the Caribbean. Well, time to go on vacation, it sounds like, Todd. Burger King has been working on new restaurant designs for a few years, but the pandemic has really accelerated certain trends like online ordering and then those made-to-go orders, I, too. I want a burger drone. That's oh. what I want. You remember we were talking about the drones yeah, earlier, the Amazon? Amazon I want a burger. I want, like, a a Chick-fil-A drone or a Burger King drone to just... And if it drops it on the way and it falls on someone's windshield, they're like... Oh. They're like, thank you for lunch. Right?